Hi everyone, Alan Denman here, barging free, and I am on our new boat, which as you can see is a wide beam. And we've still got our beautiful old Follow Your Bliss narrowboat, but we are doing it up at the moment because we're going to put it for sale. Uh, two boats is just too many. So we bought this boat not so long ago, the wide beam, which you're looking at and a uh, beautiful boat top of the range Collingwood and um, what we discovered it was essentially a marina boat and uh, in other words uh, it, it, they were in the marina most of the time which meant that they had uh, easy access to electricity which they paid for of course and water and so we for the last uh, about six months really I would say have been in the process of converting this boat into an off-grid boat live aboard um, we can live throughout the year and we've already had a, a, an advanced water filtration system added and what we are about today is actually having uh, lithium batteries and 10 solar panels so let me introduce you to the guys who are doing this uh, okay if you'd like to introduce yourselves Hi, I'm Roger from uh, Off Grid Power Solutions, and uh, we're installing a whole bunch of solar and a lot of energy storage in this boat. Okay, and hey folks, my name's Nigel, and uh, yeah, so today we dropped in two big batteries, so a total of about 26 kilowatt hours of battery storage, uh, which is the equivalent of roughly uh, probably about 20 lead acid batteries. So uh, these are lithium ion phosphate batteries. So the storage capacity versus the weight is very significant uh, compared to lead acids. So okay, so I'm just going to kneel down a bit. You guys, what these batteries look like, and it took, I think, four or five guys, strong guys, oops, to actually get these in. I'm sorry if that was a bit shaky, but there they are, <coughs> and they're nicely nestled in there, but massively. Uh, heavy, I think you said 100 kilos each. Yeah, each each battery is is 100 kilos, so uh, took took five of us to get them in place because they had to come in at an angle. So uh, quite a good job there. Um, and each each battery is actually each battery is the equivalent of 20 lead acid batteries. So we've got the equivalent of 40 hundred amp hour lead acid batteries down here. That's wow. a huge. That's a huge amount yeah. of storage. Yeah. Um, Nigel, just to, uh, can you explain to people who don't know already what is the advantage of lithium batteries? Um, so the, the two main advantages that you have with lithium batteries is one, they charge much faster than lead acid batteries. So they'll basically take whatever charge you throw at them, they'll absorb. Uh, whereas lead acids, there's always a, a limit as to how fast you can charge them. Uh, and so where that comes into play is that often in these sort of scenarios, you're trying to charge your batteries in a limited time window, especially if you're using solar, because obviously you only get a certain amount of sunlight per day. Uh, so that's the one advantage you get with lithium is that they'll charge much faster than lead acid. And the second advantage is you get much more battery storage in a much lighter unit. So obviously these are very heavy batteries as we've described at 100 kilograms each. Uh, but if you were to match the same capacity with lead acid, you'd probably have four to 500 kilograms uh, of weight to get the same sort of capacity uh, in terms of storage. But then that would just be a massive bank of batteries, huge weight on the boat. Uh, but also you just wouldn't necessarily match the performance because uh, they just won't charge as fast. Okay, brilliant. Thin batteries. Great, uh, that's really clear. And um, Roger, uh, what do you think our chances are of being able to live off grid, how much of the year can we run uh, off our solar panels combined with our lithium batteries? What's um, your projection? I, I wouldn't be surprised if you can live right through the winter because we're putting on four kilowatts of solar panels. That's a lot of solar panel. And uh, yes, you have big appliances. I think you have dryers and all sorts of things running here, washing machines or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it all depends how much you use, but I think you, you're aware that in the winter months, you will need to use a little bit less if possible. But yeah, it's going to be exciting to go through the first winter and see just how yeah. uh, the solar panels do. I, I think you're going to do pretty well. Like, you know, the, the worst case in winter, you your panels are producing about 10 to 20% of their capacity. So you're talking about, you know, four to 800 
uh, uh, watts uh, constantly coming to the batteries and you know you might actually be absolutely fine going right through the winter and not even think about the generator that's great that's wonderful and uh, can I just have a look at what's behind you guys here <coughs> so you just explain what this is what's going on here yeah so this is this is a standard install that we would do uh, f uh, with uh, Victron equipment. So this here is the solar charge controller. So all of the solar panels will feed into here. Mm -hmm. This then regulates that energy into what the batteries need to charge up. So that's your solar charge controller. These two units here uh, convert the power from the batteries into 12 volts. So the batteries are actually 48 volt batteries. But what this does is it, it produces the power that's needed for the, the distribution panel that's uh, in the boat there. Uh, this unit uh, charges the batteries from the boat engine, so it's a DC to DC charger. This is the monitoring unit, so there's a screen that attaches to this, uh, which we, we can demonstrate later once it's all connected, but that'll show you all of the information that's happening with the system. So the state of charge of the batteries, uh, how much power is going out, how much power is going in, all of those different things. Um, and then there's going to be a big unit that goes in this gap here, which is the inverter charger, and that's a five kilowatt inverter charger. That's going and that, to that's a Victron, correct? Yeah, multiplus. Victron multiplus. Yeah. yeah. So this this is something of an advance on our very simple narrowboat setup. Yeah. Would you say? Well, I love the multiplus. So you're going to enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think we better investigate this tomorrow, but um, are you pleased with the way everything's going at the moment? Yeah, it's been the hottest day so far, so it's been a real sweat down there, but yeah, yeah please, please, yeah. We've got, we, we got the batteries in, that's what we yeah. really want to do. Yeah. That's the big one. Yeah. You happy with everything, Nigel, yeah. so far? We've made good progress. Tomorrow's going to be a big day connecting everything up, and okay. hopefully by the end of tomorrow we've got power running through the system, and uh, if we... If we have a, a really big day tomorrow, maybe we'll have the solar panels connected. Yeah, well. okay, that would be phenomenal. Yeah. But thank you, guys. <coughs> um, thanks very much. And uh, an update tomorrow, then. Yeah. Okay? Sounds yeah. good. All right, thank you. <laughs>